Hello everyone, welcome to AKT's IT Tech. In Arduino ID, I am selecting the board, it's no MCU. Next, the COM4. Now, let's upload the code. Now, here we are getting an error, a fatal error ESP tool.5. Now, how to solve this one? For that, let's go to the device manager. And here, you can see the CP2102 USB to UART driver is missing. So, we need to fix the driver problem. Now, in Google, search for CP2102. Next, we need to go to the silence.com. Now, in the downloads option, let's go to the CP210X Windows driver, right? And download the same. Now, the download is complete. Now, it's time to extract the files. Let's find out the files. Here, I am going to install the 64 bit one. So, right now, you can see in the left hand side, the driver is updated, right? So, there is no problem in the driver right now. The Silicon Labs driver is available for CP2102. Let's go to the Arduino ID. Now, again, we are going to upload that code, but before that, we need to update the COM4, right? And now it's COM3. Let's upload the code. Now the upload process started, right? You can see in the left hand side, it's going on. Let's wait a couple of seconds to complete the writing process. Now it's done. So here you can see the inbuilt LED is blinking successfully. Now I'm going to change the node MCU board with the second one. And here, Again, we are going to upload the code. The upload process started. Now, let's see. Yeah, there is an error. The same error, fatal ESP tool.py error. Now, we need to go to the device manager again. That means the CP2102 driver is not working here, right? Let's click on the ports option. Now, the driver is CH340, okay? So, we need to download the CH340 driver. Again, in Google, search for the driver. Let's go to the sparkfun.com and now in the right hand side you can download the drivers right the drivers link is available here let's click on that now here two options are available you can go to the original website or you can download the windows exe file from this sparkfun.com right now the file is already downloaded okay it's time to install the ch340 driver in my system Let's do it. Now the interface is ready. Let's click on install. Now the driver installation process is complete. So let's go to the Arduino ID again. Now again we need to change the COM port and here we are going to select the COM port. So if you have any doubt regarding COM4, you can go to the device manager and check the same. Now the upload process started. Now you can see the built-in LED is blinking. So it's done. 